Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to use your mouse controls effectively. Now I've had a lot of questions asking for me to update this tutorial since my last one because my last one was made before hovering holes. So let's get straight into it. All right, so first of all, you want to go to settings in the bottom left of your screen, go to control and make sure your mouse controls are on. Now my mouse sensitivity is a 50% and my DPI is 400 on my mouse. So you guys can change your sensitivity however you want. You're also going to need a mouse, obviously. Any mouse will do. I am using a wireless one, but oh well. Alright, now before I go into a battle, I want to show you guys some fundamental things you need to learn when using mouse controls. Now probably one of the biggest things is that your camera actually moves faster than your turret. Now this can obviously take a little bit of time to get used to, because I see a lot of people having problems with driving their hole, because if their camera is moving, they're not really going to be able to see where they're driving. But as long as you kind of learn how to drive and you get a good layout of the map in your mind while you're moving your thing, or while you're moving your camera, it's a lot better. Like say there's an enemy over there, but I'm also checking behind me real quick to see if there's an enemy. I can do that fast enough to where my turret isn't going to move in a weird position to where I'm ready to fire. Like, oh, oh okay, oh, good. I fire, boom, he's there, he's dead. Now kind of just driving around in a custom map is going to be the easiest way to learn how to effectively drive around with mouse controls. Because your camera, obviously, it's faster than your actual turret, so you're not going to be able to see where you're going most of the time. So just kind of practice driving around and moving your turret at the same time and it can really help you learn to become a better driver with mouse controls. So a big map is actually pretty helpful for doing this because shooting with railgun with mouse controls is a bit harder than you might realize. Now long range aiming is a bit hard because you guys are going to need to get used to switching between your Q and E or your uh, vertical view pretty fast. Because when I'm shooting like this it's going to be a lot harder to shoot in the distance because you can't see where your turret is pointed. But if you kind of switch your or if you switch your camera all the way down here, you can line up your shot with your railgun a lot easier. Also, kind of figuring out the center of your screen is also an effective way to shoot. Because if you kind of just can visualize the center of your screen, you don't even like I can do this, and I'm going to visualize the center of my screen, and I'm going to hit some players over there. Now, mouse controls are definitely the most important when it comes to hovering holes because you cannot use hovering holes without mouse controls. Now the biggest thing here is wherever you move your wherever you move your camera, your hole is going to actually move that way. So it's a lot different than non-hovering holes because if, if you move your camera, a non-hovering hole will not move the way you move your camera. But hovering holes work in the way that where you move your camera is where they're going to be pointed. Now for hovering holes, wherever you move your turret, you're going to start gradually moving that way. But if you want to hold right click and look around, you can very easily without your entire hole moving. But then you want to let go and you want to just follow your mouse along with the person that's driving. And then you could completely stop moving if you want to, but it's important to keep moving while you're moving your mouse around so you become an, a harder target to actually hit. Okay, let's kill this guy. Let's focus on another guy. We get on this guy. Let's kind of just back out of the fight here. Move, move, move. Assess our surroundings. We're good to go. Now we see this guy. Leading your shot is also pretty hard to do because you kind of have to assess how fast they're going and kind of also look at how fast your bullet is shooting. It's pretty easy to use mouse controls once you get used to it. It honestly is not that hard to learn. At first it can seem a bit overwhelming, but it really isn't that hard. All right, so now I want to show you guys how to get a little bit more aggressive with mouse controls because this is where it takes a little bit more skill to actually become advanced in. All right, so we have, oh my gosh, four people in their base. What is going on here? Okay, this guy, I'm going to kill him here. Boom, boom, boom. Kill him. I see the other guy, but oh my gosh, okay. All right, so I see two people in their base and I'm just going to be leading my shot here. I'm going to go after the Aceta first because kill the Aceta so he can't heal. Boom, 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 heal. Now I'm going to keep leading. I know he's going to be there. Just lead my shot around. Okay, how does everyone have their overdrive already? Times the charm, maybe? I'm going to try and get around this because he's not moving his turret that well. So if I move around him, he's going to miss a lot of shots. So I just follow my turret on him while I'm moving around. Okay, this guy captured the flag. Gosh, he's just going to wait for me, isn't he? Yeah, I can't outplay this. I'm getting out of this fight. Actually, I'm self-destructing. They ain't killing me. No way I'm getting killed by that guy. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the basics of Shaft real quick, because that's the last like real big turret that I need to teach you guys on. Because it has changed a 
pretty decent amount with mouse controls here. So when you aim down sights, your, your mouse is gonna move faster. So you have to wait for your actual turret to be as fast as you. So you gotta wait until this little plus sign actually lines up with your mouse or with your camera to actually shoot. So boom, okay, well I completely whipped there. All right, this guy's gonna peek out again. I'm just gonna, okay, boom, kill that guy. Repair, oh my turret's not fast enough to kill him. Re-aim, boom, kill that guy. Okay, I'm gonna lead my shot here again. He's moving, lead it, lead it, lead it. He's out of the way. Let's wait for someone to peek out again. I can barely hit that guy, but boom, I still get him between the gap. Overall, mouse controls are honestly pretty easy to learn. Just practice driving in custom game, and then you'll be pretty well off. So, hope you enjoyed this guide. I hope to see you in some future videos. Peace out, guys.